Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day two of 25 Day Skincare Challenge. Who is excited about tonight? I'm pretty excited about tonight because tonight it's all about exfoliating. Exfoliating is actually one of my favorite things to do and where skincare is concerned. As a matter of fact, I think I even like to exfoliate my skin way more than I wear a facial mask. I know those masks are amazing, but when it comes on to exfoliating the skin, it is like the base of you know your skincare routine. And why is that so? It is so because it paved the way for your beauty products to work better on the skin. Welcome to day two, and before we dive into the topic tonight, we want to welcome all the new people that are joining for our 25 Day Skincare Challenge. If you are new and you're just joining, go ahead and comment. Let us know you are here tonight and you want to be a part of this 25 Day Skincare Challenge. We have a lot of goodies here tonight, okay? A lot of goodies that we're gonna talk about, that we're gonna feature. So you do not want to miss this show at all. So if you have to get some water, if you even have to go get a scrub, you're gonna spend at least 45 minutes with me tonight. It is also a good way to use up some of your facial scrub or even your facial mask while you, you watch the show. But you do not want to miss anything, so you want to be Focus. Not only that, we want you to ask as many questions as you can about exfoliating. We're going to break it down tonight. We're going to tell you about exfoliating, different type of exfoliating for different skin type. And let me ask a question from the old world. And I want to see the chat light up. As soon as you're joining right now, we want you to start to comment. Let me know what your skin type is. Let me know what your skin type is. I think most of you that watched yesterday would have now have a fair idea. Some of you got homework to do where you were gonna go home, wash your face, leave it for about five minutes, and test to see if you could figure out what your skin type is. So now I want to hear from you, and I want you all to start commenting right now, what is your skin type? Go ahead and start commenting. And if you did the homework and you didn't know your skin type and now you have an idea, just comment skin type, what your skin type is, and let me know if it's you can figure it out from the homework. So start commenting. I want to see at least a 50 comment. I know we have 39 watching since we just started, but we want at least a 50 people to comment right now to let us know what your skin type is. Go ahead and start a commenting, and I'm gonna kinda do a little count to make sure that we have at least 50 people telling us what their skin type is. And I'm gonna see what is the most common of you all. My skin type is normal, okay? It is normal because I can use just about anything on my skin. However, if you're new to my channel and doing a skincare routine is actually new to you, not only that, knowing your skin type is new to you, go ahead and comment. That's a beautiful picture you have there, Jill. I just noticed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're looking for about 50 and I'm seeing, and um, I'm going to assign someone to let me know what is the, which other skin type is coming up. We have mixed skin type. My skin type is combination. Always oily when I wake up but dry during the day. And um, who else is commenting? We want to see if you're just joining. What people are doing right now is telling us their skin type, especially if you just figure it out. What is your skin type? Go ahead and comment, 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 comment. Today we're going to be talking about facial scrub, exfoliating the skin. And we have a wide variety of exfoliator here which we are gonna share with you. And look at all what I have here tonight for you. When I say we have some good stuff for you to exfoliate your skin, we do. We have stuff in these bowls that you can whip up at home to exfoliate your skin pretty quick, pretty easy, and easy to do in the shower. 25 Day Skincare Challenge is what we're doing right now, and we are gonna exfoliate. Let's do some quick shout out because that's what we do. We, we acknowledge you all because we like to acknowledge you for the 25 Day Skincare Challenge. Now, another thing I want you to comment, especially if you just join and you're new and you're just joining our channel and you want to do the challenge, go ahead, comment. New, want to do the challenge. 
what challenge 25 days to have to transform your skin so from what i am seeing i'm thinking that combination skin which surprises me really and truly is taking over i used to think that oily skin was going to be the top one but right now as a matter of fact i just see about two or three dry skin i barely see any form of oily skin i notice that there's one oily skin there and nothing more most people are putting combination skin that is a surprise to me and i'm very very happy that i have skin type because that's one thing that sometimes i well most of the time i don't focus on combination skin but to know that most of you have combination skin is 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 actually a tip for me to start featuring products or diy that is suitable for combination skin so i'm very very glad that you are commenting so welcome um Jill to the show. Welcome Magdalene to the show. Who else is here as member? We have Key. Hi, Key. Welcome to the show. Now we have Ari Amira. We have Brooklyn, New York. Maxine David. Aminia. Beautiful Love. Taryn is here. Diana. Margaret. And um, Lanetti. I've been joining um, Pretty Office since the other day. Along with um, Isilma. We also have... Um, Beautiful love, I've just mentioned that. Aisha, welcome to the live show. We have Taryn, we also have Marie Curlin, welcome. And we also have, if I don't call your name because there's so many, Kenya, Joy. If you join the show early like now, this is when you get your name called. Maxine, Taryn, Amina, Diana, Patricia, um, Vanessa, hi Vanessa, Vanessa Taylor that is. We also have just Amisha, who's very much a part of this 25 Day Skin Care Challenge, along with Fiola, and I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Ilma is here. Angela Rahala is, I think I messed that up, but Lockett is here, and um, Rochelle Harris is here. So, now, do you, all right, all right. tonight is exfoliating night, okay? On your printout you're gonna see that tonight you should exfoliate and I'm very um, proud of myself because I do have the printout and I'm gonna just pull up just the part for us tonight that we're are cleansing and we are gonna on the, the the printout we have the word scrub the reason i chose to use the word scrub over exfoliating is because most people are familiar with that word most people know that scrubbing the face is exfoliating the skin we also have massage at the end of the the the, the facial skincare routine for tonight now, some of you already know how to massage. You're going to go ahead and you're going to massage. At the end of the show, I'm just going to feature just a little tidbit about massaging the skin. But come tomorrow, we're going to go all out in showing you how to massage the skin. But tonight, we're focusing on exfoliating the skin. So are you ready for exfoliating? Now for the cleanup shop. Let's do this part of it really, really quick because this is very, 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 very important. What is exfoliating? If you know what is exfoliating, you can start to comment, okay? If you don't know and you're new to it, it is basically scrubbing your face. Exfoliating is the removal of dead skin cells. What is dead skin cells? That's what sheds on the skin monthly, 28 to 30 days. And what you need to do, um, is removing dead skin cells not only dead skin cells but it removes grease which is in the form of sebum from your skin face it removes dirt how did dirt get on your skin you'd be surprised because it's all over in the environment like right now i'm sitting maybe if i have one of those flood lights and i just point it you'll be surprised to see the amount of things that is circulating and that is how all of that just land on your face okay it land on your face so when you exfoliate you get uh, um rid of all of that you also get rid of blackheads and whiteheads if you allow them to form 
because you can prevent them from farming by exfoliating. But if you didn't and it turned into blackheads and whitehead, exfoliating the skin will have to get rid of that. So simple exfoliating the skin two to three times per week will help your skin tremendously. Now there are different types of exfoliating. And we won't want to go too far into it, but I think, you know, it's a show that you always need to learn something. So here is what is for you to learn tonight. Three different types of exfoliating. And some of us do two mostly, and some of us tend to do three, and some of us mainly focus on one. So the first part of, why am I getting a call during my show? All right, so the first part, and that's on my private phone also. So the first part of exfoliating is, uh, the three forms of exfoliating is uh, physical exfoliation, mechanical exfoliation, and chemical exfoliating. Now, if you know exactly what I'm talking about, comment. How many of you already know that there are three types of exfoliating, the physical exfoliation, the chemical exfoliating, and the mechanical exfoliating. Three types of exfoliating. If you already know the three types of exfoliating, start to comment. I want to see the first person who is going to comment that they do know the three types of exfoliating. Comment, 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 because if most of you already know the three types of exfoliating, our exfoliation, then I'm not gonna go deep into it. But if you all don't know, I'm gonna take the next five minutes and I'm gonna go through it really, really quick. So start to comment and give me an idea. How many of you already know the three types of exfoliation? Go ahead and comment, 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 comment. Now, Amina, this is new. Every time I exfoliate, I can see the open pores on my nose even more. That is normal. That is normal and that is good. When you exfoliate and you see the open pores and your nose even more, it means they are clean. You got to give the skin time to, to close them up. You give the skin time to close them up. So that is the first process of getting rid of those holes. It's to clean them and eventually what is going to happen, the body, the skin is just going to work when it turn over, the cell turn over, cell rejuvenation is going to actually close those pores up. So it is actually working for you. It's not a bad thing. It is a good thing. So we are looking to see um, just one person is commenting that they think they know nobody else is saying anything and when no one else is commenting that they know the three types of exfoliating then I know I have to talk about it so physical exfoliating chemical exfoliating uh, it's not exfoliating guys correct me physical exfoliation chemical exfoliation and also mechanical exfoliation those are the three types the very one that we all like to use is the one that we tend to do at home physical exfoliating is using granules and let me find them right here that we use to buff our skin we have right brown sugar we have rice and we have other exfoliator like coffee and baking soda and oatmeal and all those things that we use that is a part of physically exfoliating our skin grabbing our skin with our hands and applying these things in circular motion that is what physical exfoliating is it is actually the most common way to exfoliate the skin the, mo the popular way to exfoliate the skin next we have chemical exfoliation chemical exfoliation and i'm looking at my counter tonight because it's always amazed me when i really start to to explain things that we really should know people click off so i'm watching tonight to see who is going to click off so don't click off especially if you don't know what physical and chemical and mechanical exfoliation is just sit with us for another five minutes and learn something new. So the chemical exfoliating, anyone want to guess what that is? It is used as an enzyme or acid base. Enzyme or acid base. That is what we call chemical peel or just simple facial peel. We're using some form of an enzyme and some form of an acid. And these are normally strong. These are normally strong and these are something that we do not normally leave on our skin for long. 
I have a homemade facial peel and the other two um, skincare um, 25 day skincare challenge that we have we focus on one at the end of this one we're gonna focus on it also but these are what you use acid and if you know acid for skincare you're gonna know that there are a wide variety of skincare acid right lactic acid ageronic acid and so on and so forth but a chemical peel you use an acid and most time you have to go somewhere to get it done unless you're going to try some home remedies they also have chemical peel you know in the bottles those they call facial peel okay if you want a chemical peel you got to go into an office your dermatologist or whoever is doing it and you're going to sit there they're going to apply this thing on your skin and then they're going to take it off within about two to three minutes it's very very strong some people is peeling all over the face and all of that that is what the chemical peel is now you can also try some homemade facial peel that contain acid like citric acid and lactic acid and even a bit of a hyaluronic acid and i have a recipe for you for this season so we'll share that when we get to that now how many of you know what the mechanical exfoliation is i guess most of you could already tell what the mechanical exfoliating is let me see who's going to comment and let us know what chemical exfoliating is mechanical exfoliating use a machine or a device to exfoliate the skin a mechanical exfoliation use a device or a machine to exfoliate the skin we use facial brushes electrical brushes to exfoliate our skin those are mechanical facial exfoliation and guess what and sometimes if you go to the spa to get your facial done they use these kind of um, um, uh, electrical tools on your skin those are mechanical exfoliated so here is the question how many of you have done all three types of exfoliation if you have done all three types of exfoliation go ahead and comment and with that once you start to comment Derma rollers are a form of mechanical exfoliated. All right, so I'm gonna get out of it really, really quick. Battery operated machines are a form of mechanical exfoliated. I know, I'm watching the count guys. When we get to this place, people don't want. It's so funny guys, I know this is 25 day skincare challenge. And I'm saying this a lot from the other day because we now have short form videos and short form videos is making like a long video, like really, really short, like 30 seconds or so. I really don't like it. I like explanation. If I'm coming on now, I'm gonna make a short video and I'm gonna try one just for you guys to see. And I'm gonna make the short videos like, there are three types of exfoliation. And I'm gonna do like this. And here is one, it's physical chemical mechanical the video is done Duh. yes you learned that there's three times but how many are you gonna be thinking oh what what is physical what is mechanical so i but it's the norm it's the norm and maybe because it's not you know they always say when you're getting older you talk about like the new generation and how they get things easy maybe i'm just getting old all right so we are moving on we are moving on but i gotta make those videos guys and when i make them please watch them please watch them i just gave myself a good idea now mechanical physical but yes anyway we are moving on. I'm gonna take a few questions, anything that you need to know about exfoliating the skin, and now we're gonna dive into what you are all here for, how to exfoliate and what to use to exfoliate. But I hope some of you really enjoyed that little segment. Now, Jill, I feel the same way, Taryn. Let, well, let me see what Taryn was saying. I'm scared of the chemical peel. A lot of people are scared of chemical peel, and that is why if you're scared of a chemical peel, try a homemade one. Try a homemade um, chemical peel. That is not as harsh. You know, you're gonna see a little dead skin cells coming up and all of that, but that's the way to go. That's the one I use. I have never ever gotten a professional chemical peel. And I'm not scared, I'm not ashamed to say that because I use my own homemade 
facial peel and I get amazing results. So if you're scared of the chemical peel, go ahead and try the homemade peel on the skin. Now, um, Lynette, how long do you scrub your face? How long do you do it? Um, thank you so much for that. Amelia, do not click off. Just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button before. So we're going to get into that. But I suggest that you exfoliate your face at least two to three minutes. You know, one to three, one to two to three minutes, okay? One to two to three minutes. If you're like me and you like to OD on it, you might go three minutes, but one to two to three minutes is just good for exfoliating the skin. Now, I still, my, I love my L, um, elaborate um, videos, more detail, accurate explanation. Thank you so much for that. I hope this trend with these shots just go away. But anyway, we are moving on. We are moving on. We are moving on. If you have a question, guys, go ahead and comment it right now because we're going to talk about exfoliating the skin now someone was asking so listen to this best way to exfoliate you can make so small circular motion using your finger to apply a scrub or use your exfoliating tool or device okay so how do you personally like to exfoliate I suggest when you just start your skincare routine you're just getting into skincare use your hands to exfoliate I like to use my hands even more than my brushes to exfoliate my skin. The reason why, when I use my hands to exfoliate, I'm exfoliating and when I'm done, I also get a chance to exfoliate my hands with the same exfoliator that I'm using on my face. So definitely your hands, but if you want to be a fancy, 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 go ahead and use those exfoliated brush. We have no issue with those exfoliated brushes. As a matter of fact, I personally like those exfoliating brushes because they make good giveaways. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. They, because they, they, they are nice. And sometimes you just want to feel good like you are living it up. And then you just go ahead and you use those exfoliating brushes. But the best, and I feel, and this is just me, because you do have some really good exfoliating brushes out there. The best exfoliator for your skin tool that is is your hands when you get into that scrub and you feel those granules on the skin it feels really really good how many of you use your hands to exfoliate and how many of you use the brushes welcome to 25 day skincare challenge guys today is day two you have 25 days to transform your skin transforming your skin from dull skin rough skin transforming your skin from wrinkled skin to a more younger looking skin we're here to teach you how to get your skin to look good in 25 days not only that we are here to share with you tips that you can try to get your skin to look good and not only that to follow to be able to develop your own personal skincare routine that you can use daily, that you can use forever and forever and forever. Nothing is going to change. You just need to be dedicated to it. We we provide a printout for you guys that is going to give you your morning job and your evening job. So your morning skincare routine, your evening skincare routine. All you have to do is take your sheet up and look at it and see what to do. For day one, we were simply just washing and using our facial products. For day two, which is today, this morning when you wake up, you should have washed your face and apply your beauty product. For this challenge, all you need is some water, yes? For this week, you need your facial toner, you need your facial moisturizer, your facial serum, and you're also gonna need your facial scrub. That is what you're gonna need. You're gonna use, need a facial mask also before the week is done. But for tonight, all you need is a facial scrub, a facial scrub that you will need to exfoliate your skin. So let me just show you right now, guys, because people like this part of it, and let me get in it. I have some more little educational stuff, but let's talk about this. Take a look at this. This is rice, and this is white rice but you can use any kind of a rice you have this make a great exfoliator for your skin a simple ingredient that some of you have in your kitchen and if you are the type of person that is cutting back and eating rice 
guess what? Don't worry because you can use the rice that you already have in your home to do your facial mask or your facial exfoliating. So guess what you do with this rice? You blend this rice. Do not blend the rice when you're using it for a scrub to a powder. You're gonna blend it where it have a bit of a granules in it. And you can also use any kind of a rice. You can use white rice, purple rice, black rice, it's just that amazing for the skin. So when you blend this rice, what you're gonna do, and guess what, if you don't have a blender and you have a grinder, because this is a small amount, put it in that grinder. How many of you know that? I'm gonna give you a little trick, guys. And I should have actually shared this with you all for a long time ago. Now, I use a blender to make a lot of my skincare products, but for blending, like blending orange peel rice, you know all these things that we blend you can actually get a coffee grinder you can actually get a coffee grinder and you can actually get this rice to a powder form in a good coffee grinder now there are a wide variety of price ranges there you can find a cheap flow little coffee grinder and you can grind away and here's another thing guys for those of you who have um the mortar thing in your kitchen you can actually use that to grind. Another thing that you can do, if you have one of those heavy rolling pin, some of you know what I'm talking about, one that you use to roll out that dough, you can actually put like your rice, your coffee, on that sheet of cloth or paper, and you can roll it out, and it's gonna get a fine granules, fine enough to exfoliate your skin. So improvise, guys. You don't have to sit there and like, oh my goodness, I would love to make that rice um, exfoliator but I I don't have no blender I I was raised like that okay I was raised like listen I want this rice and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna grind this so that's what you do you get up and you grind it and when you're done you're gonna feel proud of yourself so if no blender follow some of those and get this rice blended so this is one base that you can use to exfoliate your skin in the comfort of your home and it doesn't cost you much okay but the result that you get from this rice when you use it to exfoliate is priceless priceless and what i like about this rice also is that it's not only exfoliate your skin but if you make it in a different ways it can also have to lift tighten and firm the skin how many of you have tried a rice exfoliator before if you have tried one go ahead and comment Lynetta, can you see your face before you exfoliate? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get to that, but it's like I, I'm, I'm just baby stepping with you because you, one of the thing, um, Lynetta, one of the thing about this 25 day skincare challenge and from my experience, when I come on here and I tell you to do everything all at once, you're not gonna do it, it's too much, you feel overwhelmed. So, we're gonna talk about steaming and it's gonna come up. So we're gradually, gradually added things by the time we get to steaming guess what you have already know and get so used to exfoliating your skin but let me answer your question really really quick the best way to exfoliate your skin is to steam your skin first and once your skin is steam then you're going to exfoliate and then you can steam again or you can rinse off that's the best way to get the perfect exfoliate done for your skin but we're not there yet Follow the printout that you do not get overwhelmed because we're going to get there, all right? So with that said, rice. And what kind of a liquid can you add to this rice to exfoliate your skin? If you have sensitive skin, this is another thing. If you have sensitive skin, this is one of the better ingredients to use to exfoliate the skin. Most people do not have any form of a skin irritation when they use the rice on their skin use the rice with any form of a liquid you can use it if you have a lot of large pores you can use it with with milk you can also use this with green tea you can use it with coffee you can use it with lemon juice you can use it with orange juice grapefruit juice you can use it with just plain old water okay so definitely use this as i use green tea as my water base perfect and you can also use some rose water as the base now let's take a look at one of my favorite and probably I would say first or second popular on my list and this is a some brown sugar I know a lot of you are like um, why brown sugar you always brown sugar brown sugar brown sugar 
The reason for that, let me tell you really, really quick. Brown sugar is softer than white sugar. Brown sugar is softer than white sugar. When you pour water on the brown sugar, it melts really fast, much faster than the white sugar. White sugar go through a process. White sugar was brown before it turned white, okay? Go through a process, and the granules are a little sharper than the brown sugar. So that's the only reason why we use the brown sugar, because both white sugar and brown sugar do contain glycolic acid, which is an acid that have to peel off those dead skin cells off your skin. You don't believe me? Go research it when you're done, okay? So this is one of the easiest, easiest. And when I say this is easy, scrub to make for your skin. Because once you have the sugar, but I also tell you you could use the white sugar if you don't have the brown sugar. And once you have this brown sugar, you can just throw some water on it and exfoliate. You can throw some milk and exfoliate. You go in the kitchen, you forget to drink off that extra coffee in the coffee pot, you can throw it in it. You get an orange, your orange is a little sour, like, oh my goodness, I waste my money on this orange. Squeeze it out in some brown sugar and exfoliate your skin. Not a waste no more. As a matter of fact, it's now become really, really good for you. Grapefruit. Get some grapefruit juice and squeeze it in it and use it to exfoliate the skin. No excuse that to exfoliate your skin. Brew, brew any tea you have, whether you have a black tea or a green tea bag, brew it and throw it in inside here. This is also going to help. And here is some things that you don't even think about. And this is taking it a little further where you got to do something is get some parsley leaf and, and, and uh, blend it and pour the juice in it and exfoliate your skin. Brew some basil and throw it in here and exfoliate your skin. I personally like to add those leaves to my exfoliators. I tend not to do it a lot in the videos because sometimes people think it's too many ingredients, but like this rice and I want to kick it up a notch, I would just go and just get some basil and just chop it up or some rosemary and just chop it up, put it in here and oh my goodness, I'm just, I still want to go do this right now and just put it in here and put a little oil in it or a little milk and oh, the fragrance mm, relaxes me a lot. So. This is very, very popular, very, very common, and rich in glycolic acid. Now take a look at my next exfoliator, and mmm, coffee beans. You like coffee? <laughs> I indulge in coffee in many ways. I'm drinking coffee. I'm using the coffee on my body as a body scrub. I'm using the coffee on my face as a facial scrub. But guess what? This helps to boost a circulation. And this is one of the ingredients that makes a perfect all over the body exfoliator from your head all the way down to your toes believe it or not from your head all the way down to your toes you can use this coffee you have striation on your body like stretch marks this can help to exfoliate you have Miracles vein have to exfoliate dry knees dry elbows darker neck you know, on pit, you name it, this one is good. Boot circulation, since it is rich in caffeine, you can just blend it or grind it, and you can add any of the liquid that we just talked about to exfoliate your skin. Any of the liquid in this coffee. Now take a look at what I have here. This is something I made up for myself. This is actually coffee and rice that I blend together coffee and rice i blend right here i actually make a scrub for myself from this and this is my leftover you can tell it's in a totally different bowl but i blend the coffee on the the rice and this is the rice white rice together and that is what i'm talking about you can mix up any two of these if you want to kick it up a notch to make an exfoliator and that is as easy as it gets now let me take out one off my top ingredient, and some of you are not going to like this one, but I love it. When I say I love it, I mean I love it. I even use it if I'm making the rice. I dip a little bit in it. If I'm making the coffee, I put a little bit in it when I'm making it for myself, not when I'm making it for the show. For the show, I don't like to put too many ingredients. If I'm using the, rice, the, the sugar, I put a little bit in it. And take a look at it. It is the baking soda. 
It is the baking soda. Now you're gonna hear a lot of people out there telling you, um, oh, it's not good to use the baking soda on your skin. But here is a good little tip for you. For those of you who do not feel that you could go and do a chemical peel, try the baking soda. It's not gonna give you that kind of a chemical peel effect, but it's gonna give you a good scrub. It's gonna make you feel space. How many, first, let me ask, all of you watching, how many of you have tried the baking soda and coconut oil facial scrub that we have on our channel right here? It was a very, 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 very popular remedy. And believe it or not, you see this all over. And some of you are new to my channel, and some of you don't know, but anywhere on YouTube that you're seeing coconut, oil and baking soda facial scrub they get it from my channel and sometimes i don't give myself credit but that is the truth and you know how you're gonna know if it is the truth you're gonna look at the date that they post those videos and look at the date that i post mine that's all you know you want to know if somebody's copying my videos <laughs> look at the date i post mine and look at the date they post theirs. I was one of the first people to come on YouTube and make a video with baking soda and coconut oil. And now it is everywhere. People have even remade my video and get way more views than me, but that's the, that's the way the game go. But baking soda and coconut oil is one of my grandmother recipe. And I share it on YouTube like five years ago or maybe almost six years ago now and i think that video got over three thousand the last time i checked views it's the first on youtube there i have a lot of firsts on youtube guys and you're gonna see them and you might not think they're my videos but they're my videos but it's all it's okay but if you have tried the baking soda and the coconut oil comment 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 i want to hear from you now this is pretty easy to use right it's pretty easy to use and all you do with this baking um, soda let me see what I have here I have a bowl here so all you do with it and why am I showing this because you can actually do a lot of things with this but if you're just starting out and you have rough skin you can try this one so you take the baking soda and you put um, a bit and about a tablespoon is gonna make one application you put it there and guess what now who is gonna laugh at me that I do not have my coconut oil here. I don't. Oh man, I don't. So you know what? Um, I got another little oil here that I'm gonna use. So you can use your coconut oil. But anyway, one tablespoon is hard to see in this bowl. And now I'm gonna throw this part is organ oil, but definitely coconut oil. And I'm gonna put a little bit, and you're gonna put about a half a teaspoon or so of that coconut oil in the mixture and then you're gonna mix it up now when you mix this up you gotta take your time with it why are you taking your time with it because it's gonna look like it's gonna be dry but it's not gonna be dry and this is just what you do you mix it up and this could take a little cup more now this is all there is to it guys this is all there is to it coconut oil and baking soda it is one of the most popular facial scrub video that you're gonna find on YouTube whether it is my video or other people video it is one of the most popular ones that you're gonna find and everybody and their mother that made my kind of a video do steal my recipe but that is it and what do you do with this you just take it and you exfoliate your skin now how many minutes i have before the show is over mine is a little dry it could take a little more but you exfoliate and look watch this guy what just watch this watch this okay you exfoliate your skin like that with it in circular motion right and when you're done and all you need to do is one to two minutes exfoliating that skin and when you're done, you are gonna rinse it off. If you have tried it before, comment, because it is one of the fastest way to get rid of blackheads. Listen carefully, why I told you that I love this. It is one of the fastest way to get rid of blackheads and whiteheads, rough skin, textured skin, 
from your skin. It is the most effective one of all to clear that skin. You do not need to use it long on your skin. Not everyone can use the baking soda because some people have very sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, try it with petroleum jelly. Yes, try it with the petroleum jelly. And you're gonna be like, really? And guess what else you could try it with? The baking soda, you can try it with milk. Yes, it worked good with milk. Here comes another one for you. Mix this baking soda with a little bit of a yogurt and use it to exfoliate your skin. When you use like the rice, the coffee, and the sugar on your skin, you're gonna exfoliate for two to three minutes, but you can keep it on on your skin for about five minutes or even more. When you use the baking soda, we suggest that you exfoliate your skin one to two minutes and you rinse off. But here is the real truth about this. Most of my subscribers that use the baking soda do not want to rinse it off right away. Because when they rinse it off too quick, they feel like they don't get the full benefit. But yes, you do. And when you use this, you're going to come back and you're going to be like, I can't believe this. And you can go watch that video. I probably will try to find the link for you guys. People are commenting like, my skin was so smooth. I can't believe my skin feel this good. It is that good. It is that good. You have large open pores. This one is for you. You have textured skin. This one is for you. But... If you are not keen and using the baking soda on your skin like I just did, what you do is take that rice. Remember, you're going to use rice and put a little dash of the baking soda in it. You're making your coffee facial scrub. Put a little dash of the baking soda in it. You're making your brown sugar facial scrub. Put a little dash of that coffee in it. You are mixing coffee and rice. Put a little bit of that baking soda in it and that is going to give you clean skin you want glass like skin really fast in 25 days that is a beauty tip for you when you're exfoliating your skin if you exfoliate your skin and it feels like it's irritating your skin all you have to do is cut down on the amount remember i said not it's not for everyone depend on the sensitivity of your skin but you can also mix and match and calm things down aloe vera gel could go in this this is a it's like coconut oil tonight but we're saying it's coconut oil this is coconut oil and baking soda and you can choose to add a little bit of an aloe vera gel in it to cool it down to calm it down so there you have it guys some ingredients to use on the skin i'm watching the time and i see i just have 15 minutes so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this time I just use my water. I gotta drink some, guys. And this time, this water is sweet. <laughs> that's what I like. I like when I drink the water, it tastes sweet, like woo. And that's when I'm very thirsty or I'm very hot. So now that we get all of that out of the way, we're gonna take questions. So we start asking questions now. We're here if you're just joining for our 25 day skincare challenge. Today is day two. How many of you already did your PM skincare routine for tonight? And if you already did your PM skincare routine for tonight, I would like you to start to comment and let me know what you did. Did you exfoliate your skin? And if you, where is Jill going? And if you exfoliate your skin, comment and let me know what you use. If you're new, you might have been at a loss on what to use to exfoliate your skin. But after this, after tonight, you know how to whip up something in your kitchen. Not only that, you can also go and buy a facial scrub to exfoliate your skin. One more ingredient we didn't talk about is almond, oatmeal. Those two also is good for exfoliating the skin. If you have oily skin, go ahead and use that oatmeal. And almond has been used for centuries on the skin as an exfoliating base. Have a good night, Jill. And, uh, you know, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I will do after the live. How long can you store the baking soda scrub? Seven days. Still seven days. In, let me be honest with you guys. A lot of these scrubs can go for more than seven days. But it's vital for me to tell you the time that bacteria will form in these DIY uh, um, remedies. And it's seven days. And that is why we always say seven days. But like you make your facial um toner and stuff like that most of the time you know that it will go over seven days unless you use like milk 
or yogurt, then you know it's, you know, sometimes three or more days. Now, Razi, hi, Razi. Razi, I just finished my exfoliating while listening to the show. I use rice powder, a pinch of orange powder, orange bean powder, and a pinch of turmeric and grapeseed oil. And this is an amazing facial scrub, guys. If you're out there and you have wrinkles on your skin, if you're out there and you're looking to lighten, brighten, lift, and firm the skin, this is the recipe for you right there. Rinse off. I then apply my toner, serum, my moisturizer, and complete it with a massage. And listen, listen to this comment, guys. My face feels so good and have a nice glow. So this is the this is this is the 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 the, the goal, guy, is to use your facial scrub and get a nice glow at the end of it tonight. And um, I need to try that. And that's Lynetta. Yes, that is good. Viola, I have done it. How many of you have already complete? Um, I will do it after the live. I myself is going to do mine after the live too. And if you have question about the printout, guys, now is the time that you ask. It is day two. We do not want you to just watch the show. We want you to do the challenge. Do the challenge. And guess what? There's no one to like, you know, be really angry with you if you forget a night or you skip a step or something like that. But it's a guide. Now, when you came on yesterday, we asked you to make sure to know your skin type and know what are your skin concerns. So let me take this time to ask all of you, when it comes on to the facial scrub, regardless of your skin type, you need to exfoliate the skin. Regardless of your skin type, you need to exfoliate. Now, here is a trick, guys. If you have dry skin, go ahead and use a oil base in any one of these base that we share with you if you have oily skin. If you have combination skin, you can go ahead and you can use oil base in all of these and you can add a little bit of a citrus fruit. Whether you're gonna add a little bit of an orange peel, you're gonna add a little bit of a lime juice or a little bit of a lemon juice. If you have combination skin, you can add it those in this. If you have normal skin, play around any one of these. Had your milk, had your you know your orange peel, your lemon peel to kick it up a notch to make the scrub even better to any one of these. If you have sensitive skin, you patch test. However, the best, the two best ingredient for the sensitive skin for your scrub is the rice and the brown sugar. A lot of you didn't know that brown sugar does not irritate anyone's skin. It is one ingredient that most people can use on their skin, the brown sugar. So sensitive skin, brown sugar. How do you exfoliate your skin? You exfoliate your skin in circular motion. Circular motion. Focus on where you have a lot of blackheads and whitehead that is how you exfoliate your skin how often should you exfoliate your skin you exfoliate your skin two to three times per week on our 25 day skincare challenge for this week we're only exfoliating once and because we want to get you into going over to next week where you're going to exfoliate twice so that is the way we're doing it baby step so that you do not feel overwhelmed so definitely exfoliate and don't forget when you're exfoliating go deep into the forehead you're exfoliating keep away all all your exfoliating products from this area why is that because exfoliators do contain granules and you do not want those granules in your eyes so keep your exfoliator outside of this border outside put your goggles on if you have to but keep the exfoliating outside do not exfoliate your eyes now some of my subscribers already know how to but we're not going to go there right now so bear in mind that we're going to talk about it now is exfoliating your skin harsh it depends on the amount of pressure that you apply and that is why gentle exfoliate in circular motion now I sometimes when I'm exfoliating my skin I get carried away and sometimes you tend to get carried away too you like feel so good and yeah but the honest truth is we should gentle exfoliate the skin someone was asking about steaming which we're gonna talk about soon that also is best 
with exfoliation because you steam, it open the pores, you exfoliate. But for now, because you're just starting this challenge, we want you to see results in 25 days. We do not want you to click off tomorrow and like, oh my goodness, I gotta exfoliate again. Like, no, we don't want you to do that. So we are taking baby step. Even though you might know certain things, just follow the printout. If you're new here and you didn't get your printout, send for the printout at chichibuti at gmail.com or go on chichibuti.com and you will get the printout. Now, what are the benefits of exfoliating the skin? Why do we need to exfoliate? The benefit of exfoliating your skin is just an extra step extra step to get rid of those dead skin cell those grease those dirt from the skin but the most important of all is that it allows your beauty products to work better on the skin 99 percent of beauty products that you're going to see out there is going to tell you to start with clean skin what is clean skin clean skin means you have no grease no dirt no oil or anything like that on your skin how to get clean skin the best way to get clean skin is to cleanse your skin with a cleanser then you steam that face then you exfoliate you either rinse or exfoliate again and that is the best way you have clean skin so those are the benefits of using an exfoliator on your skin if you do not overdo it okay do not overdo it and the reason i'm saying that is when you're new to skincare and you see results so quick, especially when you're following that skincare routine, sometimes you could get addicted to it. You could get addicted to taking care of yourself. Yes, because your skin looks so good. You have the mask feels so good on your face and all of that. The scrub feels so good. You want to scrub every day when you go in the bathroom. And keep your facial scrub in your bathroom so that it's easy access. Okay, easy access, you keep it in the bathroom. So do not overdo, no more than, no matter how nice it feels, no more than two to three times per week on the skin. We're wrapping up, so we're gonna take some questions. Um, how often do you, oh, it's right there, some 55. How often do you exfoliate? Two to three times. But for this challenge, for this week, we're doing it step by step. So you're starting out with one, exfoliating this week so and it is tonight tonight you're gonna exfoliate your skin so definitely two to three times per week is good and um can i use instant coffee as well yes you can use instant coffee but the, the instant coffee is crystallized it is crystallized and that crystallization is almost like a, a little above the white sugar so you do not want it to irritate your skin but try it first and see because the process of getting those um, instant coffee is by crystallizing the coffee powder all right so make sure you know that but yes try it try it try it now um what yes i got carried away and burned my skin and see what i'm talking about this is and um, this is something i know i know i know i know i know i and so we have um YBK Inside Talk is new. Welcome to our live. We are doing a 25 day skincare challenge. This is day two. We're helping you to transform your skin to get your skin to look amazing in 25 days. What we're doing on here, we're teaching you things that you can use way after the show is done. Yesterday, we talked about knowing your skin type and knowing what your skin concern is. You can choose to join today because you could go over to yesterday video and you can also choose to call today day one. So what we did yesterday was basic. So it's all good that you could start today. Today, tonight, we are cleansing the skin and we're exfoliating and you're using your toner, your serum, your moisturizer, and we're ending with a massage. Now we don't deep dive into massages yet, but if you don't know how to massage, Tonight, you can skip that because we're going to talk about it tomorrow. But if you know how to massage your skin while you're applying your beauty products on your skin, go ahead and do it. For those of you who are just joining and see my face looking a little bit off, that's just because I was using some exfoliator on my skin. What is better, my brown sugar granules or brown sugar powder? Oh my goodness. This is a good question because a lot of people do not realize that you do have the brown sugar in powdered form. I don't like it. 
I don't like it because when I buy that, it's kind of get hard on me. And here's a quick tip for you guys. If you have that brown sugar and it gets really hard on you, put it in the microwave for a few seconds, it's going to release everything. Or oh, don't make it stay long, just a few seconds, and it's as good as new. All right, so we are asking you to use the brown sugar with the granules. And if the granules are too big, you can put it in your blender, give it a little one, two, three, and then it is good to go. But definitely not the powdered one, but the one with a bit of a granules. Very, 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 very good question. If you have a question for me, guys, go ahead and start asking any question that have to do with the 25 Day Skin Care Challenge. Now is your time. I'm Beverly. Oh, Beverly Phillips is pretty, pretty new. Lock it. Oh, thank you for that. I totally forget. Thank you for reminding me. Hi, Beverly. Welcome to the live. How many of you actually brought a guest tonight? And I could look at the amount of people watching and know that some of you didn't bring a guest with you tonight. And no one remind me that. Um, so I'm going to call people out. Misha. I know you're new to my channel and I like to let and you are really participating. Did you bring a guest with you tonight? Magdalene, did you bring a guest with you tonight? Who has brought a guest tonight? Remember, I had asked you earlier yesterday, bring a guest and we'll also will give the guest a shout out. So thank you, Lockett, for remembering to bring a guest. And Beverly Phillip, you're now a part of us. So feel free to comment, feel free to ask questions. And if you did not get that printout, Go ahead and send for the printout at chichibeauty at gmail.com or go on the website chichibeauty.com and download. Let me see who else actually brought a guest today. I'm planning on my even skin care. I mix up a large batch of exfoliator. Let me mix that. How many of you bring a guest on tonight? Brought a guest on tonight. All right, so Melody, I'm planning my even skincare. I mix up a large batch of exfoliator. I made a mix of rice powder, oatmeal powder, milk powder, green tea, a bit of a lemon, uh, all right, and a bit of a lemon peel powder. So this is a dry mix, guys. This is a dry mix. And that's another thing I, I so love you all, guys. This is another thing, guys. I have about three or four or five dry mix for exfoliating and this you can actually do you can blend up all the dry ingredient put it in a nice little container and whenever you're ready to use you just go take it out and add your liquid to it it's fast it's easy and it saves you a lot of time and i love this and this is a perfect example so how many of you where to find the printout you find the printout on my website at chichibeauty.com or you send to it for it at chichibeauty at gmail.com. So I'm just scrolling back to, I want to know how many of you actually brought someone here with you today. Rosie, I read something. Okay, so I did write that. So I have the same thing to all those dry mixes, mixes and I love it. So Rosie have the same thing and um, so Misha, <laughs> I, I just call you out. Yes. So anyone has brought someone here? Yes. All right. So we have um um the read. Yes, I brought a guest tonight. Her name is Dal. Where are you, Dal? If you're still watching, go ahead and comment so that we can give you a shout out. And um, so Amina Plin the fifth. All right, be so selfish. Don't want people to know how you get your skin looking amazing. Margaret didn't buy, Magdalene didn't bring anyone either. I forget to share earlier. All right, so we're going to do this back tomorrow. All right? We're going to make it fun tomorrow. We want you all to invite someone tomorrow to watch the 25 days. Even if they're not going to watch the entire show, bring a guest tomorrow. That is the challenge. All right? Bring a guest tomorrow. If you have any question for day two, go ahead and comment. Be excited about it, guys. Be excited about it. What you're going to notice when you come on on the live chat, you're going to have people that know a lot. You're going to have people that you know next to nothing. And you're going to have people in between. What we ask you to do is to follow the printout. We do not want you to, and this happened a lot. We have two in the series so far, and this is our third 25 Day Skin Care Challenge. What happened in our previous Skin Care Challenge you do have people that all excited first week, second week, third week, they are missing in action. Fourth week, they come back and they be like, oh, I fall off, so I stop watching. We don't want that to happen to you. That is why we designed 
the print out like this for you to gradually work yourself up into a full a.m routine a full p.m routine okay so gradually just slide on ease on down the road just slowly get into it and then when you bill on the basic you bill on the basic you bill on the basic then you are good to go. You don't want to start the skincare routine off, off like tonight you exfoliate tomorrow. I'm telling you, make sure to get that facial mask done. Make sure to steam. No, you're going to fail because it's too much one time. So go with the printout. And if you know a little more, do it for yourself. Then you had it along the way or like the massage. How many of you do not know how to massage your face? How many of you do not know how to massage your face? Most of you have a fair idea of how to massage your face. If you do not know how to massage your face, go ahead and comment. And let me just give you really, really quick, a quick and easy way to massage your face. Um, we'll do the exfoliating tonight. Yes, do not watch and not do it. The beauty of this is, and I'm gonna challenge you, if you just get up, and just try one like tonight you just say whatever i'm gonna just go do the sugar one i bet you bottom dollar tomorrow you're gonna follow the routine tomorrow because you're gonna feel so good like you're gonna be like what the really what and you're gonna do it that is why there's a reason why we have so many subscribers even though we have a lot of them not watching anymore because the system is not sending the notification and some of them come back and they so like the old videos they watch the old videos okay we have like 2,000 something videos on this channel page and people still watch all of them. <laughs> people, that's why we, our channel is still going because people are watching the older videos like crazy. So definitely guys, definitely, definitely try something, try something. So we have um, Haf, Afshin Fatima, welcome to our live. We're doing our 25 day skincare challenge. And if you want to join, you can join today. You can join today. Just send for the printout or go on my website at chichibeauty.com and the printout is there. Come back tomorrow. We are on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Five nights we're going to be on for the 25-day skincare challenge until day 25. For the weekend, sometimes I have a pop-up on the Saturday. So most time it's just like the the the. Which days are all days are because we have Sunday chit chat on Sunday and you can also come and watch the Sunday chit chat at um, 4 30 p.m. But our 25 day skincare challenge is at 7 p.m. nightly for 25 days, except Saturday and Sunday. And I probably will say except Sunday because most time we do the pop up on a Sunday evening, on a Saturday evening also. So 25 days to get your skin to look good. Do you think you can do it? Yes, you can. Do you think you'll see any difference to the skin? Yes, you can. At the end of it, you're gonna have a skincare routine designed just for you, for your skin type. That is why we ask you to know the day one, your skin type and what are your skin concerns. And every day we're gonna give you information and tips and how to take care of your skin for your skin concern. So come back tomorrow night and watch with us. Is there anyone has here that is new that I miss? Maxine Camella is here with me. So Maxine did bring a guest and that is Camella. And I think I saw Camella um, um, make a comment earlier. So welcome, let's see who else. And I'm going all the way to the top to see if there was anyone who brought a guest that I overlooked. And if not, just, you know, excuse me and just tell me, watching from Toronto, that Desreen Ranger and um, does an electric vibrating massager works as well? Yes. 100% yes. 250% yes. We also feature some on this channel. During this exfoliate, during this 25 day skincare challenge, we're going to have a night for beauty tools. And we're going to pull out all of those, the Gosha, the, the electrical massager. We're going to pull out a wide variety and show you how to use some of them. So we have a lot of things coming your way. Do you rent? This is a good one. Do you rent with cold or hot water? Now, listen carefully. When you are exfoliating your skin and you do not have the steam going, I would suggest you exfoliate you rinse with warm water, not hot, because but I know what you mean when you ask about hot. You know, you don't want to burn your skin, so warm water is good 
for exfoliating, especially if you do not have a steamer. Also, when you're exfoliating your skin and you do not have a steamer, you can actually, if you're using any form of a liquid, like the green tea, you can pour the green tea in your base warm and use that warm scrub to exfoliate your skin. Now, a lot of people try to make a warm scrub. I actually um, was sent a small scrub. That's when you apply it on your face, it gets warm. People have tried it so many times, but for some reason they don't eat the market. I think they go bad really quick, something, something. But a warm scrub is good. So you can make your scrub with some warm water and exfoliate. Rinse with cold water if you use hot water. But if you do not, because it closes the pores back up. But if you do not have a steamer or anything like that, you exfoliate, warm exfoliator, and then you rinse with cold water. Cold water is closing back the pores. Or room temperature water, that is. Very, very, very good question. Can I get the printout too? Yes. Send for the printout at chichibeauty at gmail.com or definitely go on my website, chichibeauty.com and get that printout. Inga is new. Welcome to Inga. You can get the printout also and welcome to our 25 days skincare challenge. If you are new and I didn't give you that shout out, is because I do not see it in my view. Come back tomorrow, post it early so I can give you your shout out. That's my time tonight, guys. I love you so much. I am gonna go, definitely I'm gonna go take my shower. I'm gonna exfoliate my skin and I'm gonna pat dry and apply my beauty products. I'm also gonna use that. Someone sent me an email and they were saying, oh, you don't talk about the eyes. The reason I don't talk about the eyes because I want to really talk about the eyes and I don't want to like overwhelm you but if you have something for your eyes even though it's not on the printout for tonight you're gonna start to see the eyes popping up all over as you move along because I want to show you how to cleanse and how to take care of your eyes and then you apply that so for this week you might not see it but if you have it and you know what to do go ahead and use your eye cream or your eye serum or your eye moisturizer thank you so much for joining bring a guest tomorrow night bring a guest tomorrow night and come ready for another in our series 25 day skincare challenge we're going to help you to transform your skin in 25 days good night everyone I love you day two tomorrow is day three remember to do your morning skincare routine the morning skincare routine for this week is so easy you get up in the morning and there's nothing much to do except to wash your face like you normally do and apply your beauty products. That's all there is to it. If you're new and you don't know how to make a toner, watch last night's video. If you go back to day one and watch, and there's a playlist, the new 25 day skincare challenge, transforming your skin in 25 days, watch last night's video if you're just joining because that is gonna really help you to dive into tonight and it's really gonna set the foundation for you. Send for the printout that you can follow. And if for any reason you're doing the challenge and you cannot make the live show one night and this is gonna be regular, some people's gonna skip a day, some people's gonna skip two days, come back, you have that printout that you need to follow because you can also watch the video, the live start, on your own time, your own convenience, which most people watch the live when it's done. So definitely, it's okay if you cannot make the live, but come back and watch it when you have the time. Good night, everyone, and I'll see you all tomorrow night.